Police are looking for the people responsible for an attack that did turn deadly last night. Police say they got a call just after 9 from a witness saying that two people were assaulting a man near 1255 State Street. When officers arrived, they found 43-year-old Harold Gotti of Schenectady unconscious on the ground. He was taken to Ellis Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. The cause of death is unknown at this time. An autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. No arrests have been made at this point. A local stock car driver is killed when a tree he was cutting down fell on him. Police say 29-year-old J.C. Flack was at his family's property in Queemans when it happened last night. Officials say he was taken to Albany Medical Center where he later died. Flack was part of a stock car racing family with its own team, Flack Motorsports. In 2008, he was named Rookie of the Year by the New York State Stock Car Association. An Amsterdam man is charged with first-degree murder and two five-month-old stabbing deaths. Police have now arrested 30-year-old Ivan Ramos for the March deaths of 46-year-old Cheryl Goss and 56-year-old William McDermott. Their bodies were discovered by police inside an apartment on Locust Avenue after a neighbor noticed blood in the hallway. Police are planning to release more information in a press conference scheduled for Monday. A man and a woman from Illinois are behind bars in Rensselaer County after they were caught scamming thousands of dollars of merchandise from local stores using a Florida woman's credit card information. East Greenbush police tell us 21-year-old Alexandra James and 27-year-old Oyania Olatakun had used cards that had their names on them but were linked to the bank account of a woman in Jacksonville. She called police when she noticed that charges from Target and Walmart in East Greenbush were showing up, totaling $4,600. Well, that sparked an investigation, and police learned that the duo did the same thing in Bethlehem. They're charged with grand larceny and identity theft.